Hi guys, it's me, Mama Fody, coming to you with another video. I'm going to really, guys, back-to-back -back videos it's going to be for me for the next couple days because I didn't do them for like a good month and a half, so I'm going to be back-to-back -back with videos, so I hope you do um, enjoy them. This one, let me tell you, is um, going to be a little raunchy, but first I'm going to show you the outfit of the day. Today I got the outfit of the day on, okay? I got a cool outfit on. For a 29 year old, I think I'm looking pretty hot, okay? Now, check out my necklace. Check out the earrings that match my necklace, my jewelry, my shirt. Look at this. Nice gray. I have a nice gray and black pants with my woohoo, cool black boots. I am rocking this outfit today, guys. I am looking so cool. I go to my father's today, right? And what's he say? Um, I think your pants are uh, a little... He says, I think your pants are maybe a little bit too tight. He says, when you turn around and walk away, um, I can see the crack of your ass. And I said, excuse me, Dad. You can't see the crack of my ass, okay? That's why you wear a longer top. My top is fine. It's covering the crack of my ass. Now those pants are too tight. You're too old to wear those. No, I'm not. I am with the style. Patty Forty's always with the style. And I will wear these because I'm a cool mama. I'm a cool 29-year-old, like I said. And this is how I dress. I like to be cool. I like to show a little cleavage. I gotta be cool. My cool earrings, my cool necklace, my cool top. That's just me. Even my son Nicky always says, you know what, Ma? You're gonna be 70 year old and you're still gonna be rocking your leggings. Yes, I am. You will never see me with old fashioned clothes. You will never see me with freaking. I'm not a bell bottom person. I like leggings. But I know how to dress myself, okay? So. If you know how to dress yourself, whether you're 300 pounds, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, if you know how to dress, girls, like you see, you know what, like you, you see on the um, internet that fab life with, uh, what is her name, Goldie Hawn's daughter, Kate, um, whatever her name is, Kate, she has that, she has that fab life um, commercial where you get those um, fab, uh, leggings, and you get the short tops for, um, exercising and stuff. Let me tell you, do you ever, ever, ever see any girl that's a size above two there? No, no, never. What happened to showing some plus size girls? You really need to see some plus size girls out there. I mean, showing these size two and size four, uh, girls, that doesn't help us. And for somebody that's like a size 12 or sorry, size 10 or 14, do you think we actually could go and buy that outfit and wear it? I don't think so. So you know what? It's just false advertising. And let me tell you another thing about this day. They say, oh, you could get your first outfit for $10. And then you could get this discount. Well, guess what? You only could sign up to be um, a VIP member, okay? And if you sign up to be a VIP member, then you could get your outfit for $10 or $29. But what happens is when you sign up, they're going to charge your account every month $49, okay? Even if you order stuff or not. So it's another scam thing, another scam thing. It's just crap. So don't sign it. It's a, <coughs> sorry, it's a waste of time. It's bull. So don't go in there and sign up and think you're getting this outfit for $10 or 20 outfit or 20 outfit or $20. You have to sign up to be a VIP member to get that price. And then if you don't order in the next ne next month or the next month, they're still going to charge your card. So you get screwed. Now back to what I really want to talk about today. Now, everybody knows that 50 shades of gray. Mm, Mr. Gray. Christian Grey, um, who's ever read the books. Yes, I've read the books. You know the movie, the second part is coming out. 
Fifty Shades of Grey darker. Well, I think it's the most, um, the second part is the most sexual, the most, <coughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm still sick. It's the most sexual, it's the most, um, I mean, I think the second book really gets into how sick this man is. I mean, he's really sick. He was abused. He was so many things done to him as a child with his mother and p parts of his family. And this part of the book really gets into the things that happened to him and all he, he has to be in charge. He is the dominatrix. He is the one that has to be in control of whatever happens. So... I know the movie's coming out very soon. I chose not to watch the first part of the movie. I didn't want to go see it because number one, the guy that they have playing the part, to me, he's not a good looking guy. He is not sexy. I'd rather have kept in my mind the guy in the book because the guy in the book, when you read it, sounds so, so sexy and gets those... Um, Blood vessels going in your body. Gets your temperature rising in your body. Gets that little, well, I want to say, you know, you get that little bit of tingle in your body, in your JJ area. And, um, yeah, I have to say the book is a little bit sick. And some of the stuff is really disgusting. Yes. But I don't know of a person out there, man, woman, whatever, has read that book and has not got excited and had some hot sex from reading it. Because you're a liar if you tell me you didn't get excited. Now, some people went to the movie and said, ah, the book was so much better. I agree. But like I said, the guy that's playing the part of Christian Grey in the movie doesn't do nothing for me. So I chose not to go and see it. I chose to have the guy in my mind so when you go and do you know what all those sex stores out there that sell the toys and whips and chains and whatever you want to get the sales of those toys tripled doubled when those books came out because you know what people who wanted to try all these things that were in the book and or in the movie they wanted to go out and try some of these uh, cadavers. <laughs> yes, goddamn cadavers that he has. Now, in this second part of the book, they have butt plugs. They have freaking whips of chains. They have clothespins for your nipples. They have different, so many damn things this guy uses. And this girl at first is scared, but she, this guy turned around so much that, you know, she's willing to try anything. Oh, yeah, give it to me, baby. Oh, yeah, give it to me, baby. I want it. I want it. Some of these things cause so much pain, you're screaming. But, yeah, even though you're screaming, you're still getting some enjoyment, right, Anastasia? Anastasia enjoyed it. <coughs> but, yes, he's a sick man. Very, very sick man. And of all of us idiots out there, enjoy the reading. Because millions of people read that book. Like me. Yes, reading it, reading it, you do get a little bit of enjoyment, but you also say to yourself, also while you're reading it, this is really sickening, and I don't know if I would try something like that. There's some things I'm sure I wouldn't try. You know, I'm not the kind of person that's going to be tied up to the bed, tied my feet together, tied my hands behind my... I got to be the one in control. Miss Mama Fody, I'm the controller, Okay. <coughs> Patty 40 is still sick. But, yes, Mr. Christian Gray, you are a sick mother ever. But, we did get some excitement out of you. I got some excitement out of you. Butt plugs, no thanks. Nobody's putting nothing on my a-hole. That's for an exit only, okay? There was marbles that he put up her butt. There was um, clamps that he had for the vagina. He had clothespins and, and some kind of chains that you put around the nipples and pull. Yes, I'm sure they hurt. But I'm sure, yes, a lot of people got a little bit of excitement out of it from the pain and the waiting what's going to happen. And 
I mean, the pulling of the hair, okay, baby, that's all right. I like a little pulling of the hair, too, once in a while. Yeah, a little squeezing this half that. A little squeezing in the bus. It's okay. Some of the stuff was damn sick, guys. So if you choose to go see the movie, and like the ugly, ugly guy that plays the part, Anastasia, you know, was a very plain, not really good-looking girl. Not even in the book. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. But. For some reason, he liked the plain Jane, and she got him away from those bad ways, bad ways that he was, and made him to a pretty normal guy. But like I said, guys, go see see the movie if you choose. But in my opinion, I go with the memory of the Mister Gray that you read in the book because he was much finer. And just close your eyes and pretend he's there with you in your bedroom. And my God. Fantasize. Fantasy is a wonderful thing. We all do it. Don't tell me you don't. Because fantasy, whew. Go buy some toys if you want. Hey, life can be good. Just a little thought for me today. So you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you real soon with some more videos. Because I got another fab fit fun box to go over with you. And I didn't show you my new dining room yet, so I will definitely do that. So, you know, go enjoy Mr. Gray, Mr. Christian Gray. Do a little fantasizing. Do a little, have a little fun sex with your husband. Do a lot of, do some um, trying of new things. And hey, you might have a good time. So peace out with me. You know, I love you always. And uh, peace out. Bye.